Welcome to the latest video in our Team Black Sheep Power Cube series. This video is actually going to be talking about the Core Pro, which is the on-screen display device that's part of the model that we've built. If you remember, the Core Pro actually connects to the bottom of the Power Cube and then connects into the video transmitter itself. And there are extra cables above and beyond what you'd normally see on something like this and that's used for communication and this is part of the thing that Team Black Sheep have added to the firmware above and beyond the standard clean fight basic code. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to show you some of the menus that you can actually get into via the on-screen display because not only can you configure the on-screen display itself so how the layout looks, the units and all that great stuff but you can also change how the video transmitter is working, change the channels, and also go and change things like the PIDs and settings of the actual flight controller itself. So what this means in practice is that at the field, you can change all of the setups of your machine just using the menus on the on-screen display. You don't have to try and get hold of an Android or PC device and try and plug it in to something that will run clean flight in order to change everything up. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually power up the device. I'm going to actually watch what's going on in my little Black Pearl 7-inch FPV diversity receiver that we have here. And I'll actually record the video so we get a slightly clearer image in my Fat Shark goggles. And then we'll play that back by the side. I've got my radio turned on here. We have a Tronus that's all set up for it. And when I turn it on, you'll see that we'll get the black sheep logo and then to enter the menu I'm going to press and hold the middle button middle is kind of like the enter button once we're in the menus and then the other two outside of it are kind of the up and down for navigation so let's get into it and I'll show you what I mean first of all let's power the craft up okay so there we are we saw it initialize figure out that it had the flight controller and the video transmitter, you heard the Tyrannus announce that it could talk to the Model 2. And again, here I'm doing without the props installed, just so that we're okay. So here we have the display as it looks normally. I haven't taken the lens cap off just for clarity. So you can see here, we can see the battery voltage, the amount of milliamp hours that we've consumed, how many amps we're actually pulling. So we're pulling 700 milliamps just sat here idling on the desk. Um, and then we have things like call sign and the amount of time, the mode that we're in, etc. But what I'm going to do is press and hold the middle button on the OSD, which is just here at the side. Then we go into the menu itself. And we have three things here. We can look at the on-screen display, the flight controller, or the video transmitter. So the on-screen display is kind of talking about the settings for itself. So I'll press the down button and we'll hit enter. And here we can change things like the units, how the RSSI is managed, the battery type. We can look at general, setting the artificial horizon and everything else. So in here we can change just like we could with the PC software. We can change how we want everything to look. Now I'm highlighted enter here, so I'm just going to hit enter, take us back. We can also change things on the flight controller too. And hit enter. Then here we can actually change some really cool stuff. We can change things about how the PIDs work, the rate settings, actually change the settings themselves. Let's hit enter and have a look at those. We can change the loop time and how the uh, idle motors work. So I've got my motors stopped. We'll press back again. We can also then go through something called calibration. Now this is really fun. This allows you to calibrate the radio in the field. So the normal RC calibration routine um, can be done through the interface. So if I just hit enter here, we can actually do the um, accelerometer calibration for the flight controller. But the really fun one is you can also do the radio control calibration here as well. And it'll actually take you through, ask you to move each of the sticks in turn and do all the calibration. So if at the field you find something is a little bit off, it can all be done through here too. If I just go back, Enter again to go back again. And the last thing you can do then is to change things on the actual video transmitter. Hit enter. And here we can then change how it's all set up. So we can change the band, we can change the channel, and also if you've unlocked it following the bits and pieces in the manual, you can change the power level as well. So this is a really cute way if you are 
trying to figure out which band you're on and which one you want to move to, you can actually change it all through here as well. So I thought it was worthwhile making that quick video to show you this in action because it's a great feature and one that means that at the field with the TBS system altogether, you don't have to worry about having anything else with you. It can all be done through the on-screen display. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.